All right, guys, welcome to 4.6 Savage. Now, today, we're, we're putting in the new cams on the right side. So, we're going to go ahead, and I already broke loose the cam bolt. Set the engine at top dead center. Make sure you do that. And uh, set the cam bolt there. And my engine moves because I have the motor mounts unbolted because of uh, the transmission, which is sitting over there. Uh, we can get us a screwdriver. And try to try to pop it through that one too. So when I drop the cam gear, it doesn't. When I pop the cam gear off, it doesn't uh, fall and loosen my chain. See how tight my chain is right now? There we go, wiggling it loose. Almost off. There we go. There we go. As long as it stays like that, we're good. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to. Unbolt the cam. Just had a uh... <laughs> so go ahead and you know, unbolt this cam. Take them all off. Loose them all up a little bit before you take them all off. That way you don't have the cam suddenly bust out on you. Now I have GT500 followers. For those of you who don't know who the what those are, they are uh, followers that are stronger than the stock followers, so they don't uh, they don't promote as much valve flex. Oh, well, deflection, not flex. As you can see, they're all coming loose pretty good. Now, all these have to be torqued. I'll grab my book after. Get the other cam back in and torque them down. But now, you should be able to turn them loose, turn them loose, turn them loose. Turn them. See, that one's tight still. Turn it loose. That puts all the pressure on these back, too. Work them out. Because you don't want the spring, this cam springing forward on you. Also, the coil pack has to be removed before doing this, so make sure you know that and go ahead and remove it. Found that out during my prep work for this video. Is that one? Is 
this one. And you want to make sure you set these aside so you know where they go. I mean, I recommend doing one cam at a time. Um, that way you know which cam goes where. They're not fighting. When you look at an engine, every cam will have a right and a left cam. Um, your passenger side will be right, your driver's side will be left. It's bank one and bank two. So as you can see, we bolt that, pull that off, set that aside. Now we're, that's where the fun comes in. Okay, the back half is where the, where the pressure is. It's going to want to lean up. Wait. Turn them up. Look at my journals real quick. Hmm. Here and here need to be shaved down. All right, so I got to work on my journals a little bit before I uh, put the new cams in. As soon as I get this cam off, we'll take a break. I'll go get the new cam and then uh, I'll show you everything else. All right. All right, guys, so we got our new cam sitting right here, still in the bag. And uh, now what's next is we got to go get our engine assembly loop. And we'll walk over here, pick up the cam. You always want to make sure you're using engine assembly loop. Because that allows it so you don't end up hurting anything. Make sure everything's properly lubricated. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and shake this. It's been a while since I had to use it, so I'll make sure it's together. There we go. Smooth it out, cross everything. All these. Okay. Rub it all in your journals because you want your cam to lay down on this. Just want to make sure you put some on the rollers. There you go. Got this film on it. This will allow us to go like this. All right, now time for the cam. See, cam is gonna sit like this. All right. Let's see. 
They only go in one way. They're only for one side cam. As you can see how nice and shiny they look. So we're gonna go. And where's our keyway? Keyway's over here. So we look at where the keyway is on the original. Some more of that lube on the cam. Make sure you lube all your journals. All right. We're gonna go and grab the back journal. Here, we're going to start our bolts. This is just to make sure the journal sits in place. And Get that as soon as we get this cam where it won't pop out on us we are going to go ahead and bolt up the cam gear as you can see we'll sit right here right there don't want to tighten them all the way down, you just want to make sure there's not enough friction. Enough to where we can line this keyway up. This has to go back like this, okay. And this has to spin. difficult way to do cams but to be honest it's better than nothing screw up that. and I can end up spinning this cam enough Let's see 
little screwdriver and see if I could spin that camera around. Well, this be rude, that's great. As soon as I spin this can, it doesn't work. Damn, I did shut. Okay. So, we should. That's definitely all right. So, you gotta make sure the rollers stay in. So, you gotta run like so. Have to take a break real quick until I can find out how to get these in. Get some of this wool off my hands. Well, that's all for this video. It's pretty much just getting that cam gear back on now and then bolting it down and tightening the girdles. And that's all you have to do. All right, remember, be savage and like and subscribe this video.